Good morning and welcome to Trinity All Saints Anglican Church in Bala, Ontario. It's a beautiful little country spot with a very historic church in it. We are pleased to be joined this morning, uh, helping us with morning prayer by Nancy Houghton, who is the diocesan lay reader, who is based out of here, out of uh, Bala, and also by Helen McNaughton, who is longtime lay reader for the parish of Muskoka Lakes. And I'm Corey Bernetti. I'm the parish administrator and theological student also out of Muskoka Lakes. This morning, we'll be doing the morning prayer coming out of the Book of Common Prayer. If you have a, you know, a copy of it in your possession, that's great. We'll be starting on page one. If not, you can find farther down within the posts on the Anglican Parish of Muskoka Lakes Facebook site two links, and one of them is to get the PDF version of the Book of Common Prayer. And we start off in this third week of Easter on page one in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord is risen indeed. Thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And we flip over to page four, and this is our exhortation asking for forgiveness and repentance. Dearly beloved, the scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with a humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by his infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, Yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at his hands, to set forth his most worthy praise, to hear his most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and a humble voice, unto the throne of heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no help in us. But thou, Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that they may turn from their wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment unto his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people, being penitent, the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And please join us in the saying, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouths shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. 
At this point, we carry on with Psalm 95, which we know as the Vanity. And we'll do it by full verse sequentially. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, that he would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, it is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Glory, Glory be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, the Son, Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world, world without world. end. Amen. Amen. And our psalm for today is Psalm 116. And you can find it, if you're following along in the Book of Common Prayer, on page 481. And again, we'll be doing it by full verse sequentially. My delight is in the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my prayer. Because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The cords of death compressed me round about and the pains of hell got hold upon me. I found trouble and heaviness, and I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous. Yea, our God is merciful. The Lord preserveth the simple. I was in misery, and he helped me. Turn again then unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord hath dealt bountifully with thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I trusted even when I spake, but there was sore trouble. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What reward shall I give unto the Lord for all the benefits that he hath done unto me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord in the presence of all his people. Right dear in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Behold, O Lord, how that I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thy handmaiden. Thou hast broken my bonds in sunder. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord in the presence of all his people. Even in the courts of the Lord's house and in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we continue on with the Tadeum, which is found at the bottom of page 7. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty. Thine honorable, true, and only son. Also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Thou art the king of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting son of the father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, 
Thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of the Father in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servant, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee. And we worship thy name, ever world without end. Both safe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Never let me be confounded. Glory be to the Father, and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We continue on with the Benedictus, which comes from the Gospel of Luke. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies, and from the hands of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant. To perform the oath which he swore to our forefather Abraham, which he would grant us. That we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us. To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guard our feet in the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And I invite you to join us in the saying of the Apostles' Creed. It is our most profound statement of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. And today we say the call it for the third Sunday after Easter. And again, if you're following along in your book, if you have the electronic copy, it's found on page 193. Almighty God, who shows to them that be in error, the light of thy truth to the intent that they may return into the way of righteousness, grant unto them that are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion, that they may forsake those things that are contrary to their profession, 
and follow all such things that are agreeable to the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And Nancy, if I can get you to say the second collect for peace. O oh God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us thy humble servants in all assaults of our enemy, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Helen, the College for Grace. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same way with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we continue on at the bottom of page 13 with the prayer for clergy and people. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and clergy and all the congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee. Pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. And Nancy, the prayer for conditions of all people. O God, the creator and preserver of all humankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of people, that thou wouldest be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving, saving help unto all nations. More especially, we pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, that it may so be guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith of unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate, that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to thy several necessities giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. This we beg for Jesus Christ, his sake. Amen. Amen. And Helen, the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thy unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all people. We bless thee for our creation preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory, and we beseech thee to give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that all our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. And our prayer of St. Chrysostom, Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and does promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy holy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. And please say with us the grace. The grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Once again, I thank you for joining us this morning. We hope that you have a safe and a pleasant day and the rest of the time.
If you have a moment, make sure to touch base with those people that you know are still in self-isolation, who may be feeling a little bit lonely and not necessarily connected. And we ask that the grace of God go with you in whatever you do in this time, that you will be safe and protected. Thank you.